Okay, so I'm going to make a quick video on adding and subtracting, and I just chose base 5, but the process would work with any base. You just regroup and ungroup at different points. So let's just do this mathematically, and then we'll draw the picture and try to connect the dots a little bit. So we regroup any time we add up to 10. In other bases, you regroup when you hit that base. So 2 plus 3 is 5, and notice I regroup at 5. So if I have 5 and I regroup at 5, there'd be nothing left over and one regrouping. All right, so next let's add that up. So I have 3 plus 4 plus 1, which is 7 plus 1 is 8. But again, I would regroup any time I hit 5. So if I have 8 and I regroup at 5, that means I would have 1 regrouping and 3 left over because 8 minus 5 is 3. And then I would add these up, which is 8 again, so I would have 3 left over and 1 regrouping. And so that would be my answer, my sum in base 5. Now, if we draw the pictures, this would be three flats and four longs and two singles, and then four flats for the second number, three longs and three singles. So again, 433, 342 looks the same in base 10 or base 5. It's just what's inside the regrouping. Singles are singles, that's fine. In base 10, these would each have 10 in them. In base 5, they each have 5 in them. And in base 10, these would be 10 by 10. They would be worth 100. But in base 5, they're 5 by 5, so they're worth 25. All right, so let's just kind of look at our adding process. 2 plus 3, that's this. 2 plus 3 equals 5. And so remember, we got 5, and we regroup anytime we hit 5. So here's my new long right there that I just created. Okay, so then remember we added the 4 and the 3 and the new one, right, which was 8. But remember, we regroup when we hit 5. So we're going to take 5 of these, and we're going to regroup into a flat. And notice how many were left over. 1, 2, 3. So they're there. All right, so now we counted our flats. So we had 3, 4, and our new one. So that's our new one. So there's our 3, there's our 4, and there's our new one. So again, we regroup any time we hit 5. So if I go ahead and take these 5, then I would have to regroup, and the next shape would be a cube. And in this case, the cube would be 5 by 5 by 5. So what's my final answer? Okay, so you just have to look for what shapes you have after all your regrouping, and we didn't have any of those. All right, so my answer would be there were none of these left. There were three longs left, there were three flats left, and there was that one cube left. And that would be my answer in base 5. All right, let's look at subtraction quick. Again, we'll do the process first without the picture, and then we'll do the picture. All right, so can I take 2 from 1? No. So I ungroup, but I'm not in base 10, so I don't get 10. I, when I ungroup, I get sets of 5. So I get 5 singles with 1 single, so that's 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay, can I take 3 from 1? No. Can I ungroup a 0? No. So I'm going to ungroup my 1 and have 0 left. And again, any time you ungroup, you get 5. And since there's none here, 5 plus 0 is 5. Again, I still want to take 3 from 1. I can't, so I ungroup again, which is a 4. And again, any time I ungroup, I get 5. And 5 plus 1 is 6. Can I subtract now? Yes. So 6 minus 3 is 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. And my answer is in base 5, so it'd be 34. All right, so let's draw the original picture here so we can see it now. Subtraction means take away, so you only draw the first picture. So I have one cube, zero flats, two longs, and what was that? One signal. Sing, ah, sing, I can't speak, sorry. A single. All right, and this is what I want to take away. So first of all, I want to take away two singles, but there aren't any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and ungroup it, and inside every long there would be 5, because we're in base 5. Now can I take 2 away? Yeah, so I'm going to take those 2 away. All right, and notice how many are left, 4. All right, let's do the next one. I wanted to take away 3 longs. There weren't any. So what did we do? We decide to ungroup this guy, and so when you ungroup, that cube, you're in base 5, so you get 5. And this time you get 5 flats. Okay, I still want to take away 3 longs, but I don't have any. So I ungroup again, so I take one of these guys, 
and open it up and inside of it would be five longs. All right, so notice how we get the six because we get the five that we got from ungrouping plus one. Now can I take away three? Yep, and what's left? These three. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is take away four, four flats. And if you notice, we have four flats, so I'm just gonna take them all away. So my final answer is 34 in base five.